On average, 1% of the population uh, of Cape Town is made up of international tourists. You add domestic tourists and you get to 2.4%. And it's a real challenge spotting those tourists as a percentage of the population. This is our main message to you and to your clients and to the international media. This very small number of, of citizens or residents in Cape Town at any one time is contributing to the creation of 300 or the sus uh, sustaining of 300,000 jobs in the Western Cape and a 40 billion rand contribution to the Cape economy. So we've seen extraordinary uh, performance in terms of hospitality groups and tourists cutting their usage of water. You'll hear just now about uh, some of the things that Sogo has done uh, to get uh, to change the way tourists sa uh, start saving like locals. But really, when you do the cost benefit of the benefit that tourism brings to the Cape versus the cost that these numbers impose on the water system, it's overwhelmingly a positive contribution. That's why we're taking a very positive message out, together with SAT, to the rest of the world. Next Monday, we're launching that campaign that CISA spoke about. It's got an online uh, uh, presence, a single uh, web page with the FAQs he mentioned. It's got a digital marketing campaign where we're targeting tourists that express interest in Cape Town and hitting them with the message that Cape Town is open for tourism, but you need to be mindful and change your behavior when you are here. Uh, it's a comprehensive uh, digital campaign and uh, uh, above the line campaign that we're running together with SAT using their kind uh, financial support, CISA, thank you, um, to making sure that we deliver this message that Cape Town is open, uh, come and enjoy, but be mindful.